Hi, my name is Greg Hahn, and I'm a Senior Client Engagement Manager at Simmons Research. Our team has created a series of short tutorials that will help you navigate through OneView. Today's session will focus on the Definition tab. Definitions allow you to save data elements in coding statements, so you don't have to recreate them or find them in the dictionary each time you want to use them. To get started, click on the Definitions tab, which is located next to the Questions tab. You'll notice there are different colored folders in the left-hand window. These colors mean different things. The green folders are the ones that Simmons provides all of our clients and contain some common data elements that we found our clients use all the time. You do not own green folders, so you cannot add or delete items within the folders or the folders themselves. You can use them or ignore them. They will always be there. Purple folders are the ones that you have adopted from your colleagues on the account. Like green folders, you do not own them, so you cannot add or delete items from the folders. We'll talk more about adopting folders in a little bit. Yellow folders are the ones that you own. This means you can add, change, and delete items within the folders, as well as the folders themselves. You can have as many yellow folders as you want. To get started, click on the Create button and give your folder a name. In this case, we're just going to use Demo. You also have the option to make the folder only available for the study you are currently in. We do not recommend ticking this box as part of the power of definition files is that they are available for all the studies you have access to. You can also allow your colleagues on the account to adopt this folder and use the files in it by ticking the shared box. It is entirely up to you if you want to use this option or not. Once you have your folder created, you can now click on it and drag any item from your columns, rows, or bases into the middle window. You also can save any coding statements by clicking the Save in the lower right-hand corner and choosing whether you want a new definition folder or to use an existing definition folder. Once you have your definitions files saved, you can now use the files wherever you want by dragging them to the location that you want to use them, whether that be the column, the row, or the base. If you want to adopt a folder created by a colleague on your account, click the Browse Shared button. You can now filter the selection by typing in the search box, or you can scroll through until you find the definition folder that you want. Once you've located the folder, simply click the text box next to it in the adopted column and click OK. You'll now have a new purple folder that contains all of the files that you have adopted. We do want to give one word of caution when adopting folders from your colleagues. Any changes the owner of the folder makes is immediately reflected in your version. This may lead to incorrect results within your crosstab. We recommend you highlight the folder and click on Duplicate. This will create a duplicate version of the folder that you now own, and you'll notice that it is a yellow copy. For those of you who license the Simmons local product, you can also import a custom list of zip codes to create a custom geography. You first need to create the list of zip codes and save it as a CSV or TXT file. The file should have one column containing your zip codes and a header or title for the column named zip codes. Once the file has been created, click on import and choose import custom geography. Browse to your zip code file and click Open. You then want to select if you want to use an existing definition folder or to create a new one. If creating a new file, click and give it a name within the box. We'll just call this Demo Zips. The system will then import, after you click the Import button, your files into that particular folder as a custom geography. Thank you, and if you have any questions, please contact your Simmons Client Engagement Manager.